up you guys combat 86 radio show coming at you um day in life here just uh, stopped off at the uh, grocery market here and got a sandwich but uh, i was just talking to my friend and <laughs> kind of get remembering back at the old box store job i had and remembering all the terminology of things um u-boats was the rolly cart thing you push around and um the the quads that sat there in the middle of the aisle and all the merchandise on it and i've been away from that job for so long i forgot about all these terms it was really interesting to hear about them again anyway we're heading down to walmart i'm gonna go look for a movie with will smith called bad boys 2 i've been wanting to watch it again and so that's where we're heading maybe we'll take the camera into walmart here look at that look, there, there it is it's walmart it's walmart and the massive droves of people See, this is the thing about going to the front of Walmart. You gotta wait for all these people across. Yeah, the paint. <laughs> I didn't find the DVD I wanted. So I think we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Maybe Target. What's up, you guys? Pause this watching a movie just got back from town with my friend sitting here in the bed and figured I'd show you guys what I bought if you wonder what that whirling noise is in the background it's the AC I got it on it was a little humid today because it has been raining and we combine rain and sun in Hawaii it tends to get pretty humid okay <laughs> so I went to the store I picked up some stuff picked up some snacks for later and the uh, strange thing about me and Oreos, I like Oreos, but I don't like all the, uh, too much of the, the frosting in the middle. So I actually like the thins because there's not much of it in there. Probably better for uh, getting too much weight anyway. Anyway, bought the uh, dental floss I like. All right, so cool thing is I bought some movies and I've had this movie before, but I couldn't find it, but it was so cheap, I bought it anyway. I think it was like four or five bucks. Um, I bought Bad Boys 1 and 2 with Martin Lawrence and Will Smith. I've actually been watching it right now. So the other two that I bought, uh, Target had a sale, and I found them. They were really cheap. I bought Seven and um, Silence of the Lambs on Blu-ray, both of these on Blu-ray, very cheap. Uh, the, they were like four dollars on sale so I always like Silence of the Lambs and it looks like it got some special features on this that's really what I look for too um, aside from watching these on blu-ray now and it is quite a difference I told you guys yesterday in the vlog that I was going to try to um, talk to you guys about blu-ray and DVD and this one here it's got uh, special features it's got breaking the silence and understanding the madness Inside the Labyrinth, uh, Silence of the Lambs from page to screen, Scoring the Silence. Hmm, that's interesting. The original 1991 making featurette, that ought to be interesting. Some deleted scenes, Anthony Hopkins uh, phone message, outtakes. Hmm, oh, <laughs> Anthony Hopkins and outtakes? <laughs> All right, so anyway, that that's going to be cool. It says right there, the ultimate high definition experience for the special features. Okay, and of course you got seven. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies. I just love these cop detective uh, movies, and I Morgan Freeman really hits it out of the park with his character, and so does Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, um, you know, just being the gung ho guy, but yet you know, just <laughs> and my favorite scene. Come on, man, what's in the box? <laughs> so this one looks like it's got some interesting special features. I should it's got it had been blocked from this barcode thing and I hope that I can see it got my case knife open this thing up and see if that okay so it's actually on the plastic I'm actually going to take this out Okay, so it's got four commentaries um, from featuring the director from the end and from also the actors, Brad Pitt and uh, Morgan Freeman. Additional 
an extended scenes alternative ending, which I actually didn't think there was one. Maybe I've seen that. I don't know. Um, I'm, just, I'm just trying to think if I saw that or not. Okay, so exploration, the opening title sequence. The title in in the beginning is interesting. Okay, notebooks. Uh, I guess full uh, motion video details of John Doe's writings. That ought to be interesting. Hmm. Not as great of a special features as I hoped for, but anyway. Also, something interesting about the uh, the new um, jewel cases they've been coming with the uh, recycle symbol cutouts. I guess that's so they can use less plastic in them. That's what the disc looks like. Sometimes you always wonder what the disc looks like, and it's kind of neat because you can actually see right behind, right through it. Very interesting. Blu-ray discs feel dense, more denser, I guess if that makes sense. But one thing I did notice about Blu-ray compared to DVD is, especially like when when I was making grips for John Wayne's my John Wayne gun and everything like that. You watch one of these John Wayne films on Blu-ray, that's when you really start to notice the big difference. You see, like, truly a really good high-definition look of, of these things, and that's when I started to become really uh, fascinated with Blu-ray. The very first thing I ever bought on Blu-ray was the Dirty Harry collection, and I was so excited to get home and see how it looked, and it really is. It's amazing. You really can see, like, the the frizzle, you know, the... the the material on you know Clint Eastwood's coat and whatnot so really interesting let's uh, open this one up for fun just to see what it looks like again I'm a pretty big horror movie fan so last night I watched um, I, I told you guys I watched the uh, the boy um, which is supposed to be about this lady that goes to this house and they have this doll and she's supposed to take care of it like it's a person and the whole thing you're just thinking you're expecting the doll to come alive. Um, for those of you that haven't seen it and that want to see it might want to pause this but, um, but that's pretty cool. That's the disc there. I guess it's a picture of Anthony Hopkins looking up in his cell. Interesting. All right. So anyway, the boy was eh, wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. It was more or less just kind of like I don't know. I, I didn't really understand. You know what it you know what it seemed like to me. It seemed like they had a really good idea, and they were going at it. They're going with it, and, and then towards the end, they just went. You know what? Let's just scrap this movie. Oh, well, we got to finish it. Oh, well, then just make it, you know. So, anyway, the doll, indeed, was just a doll. It had nothing to do with anything, you know. It wasn't alive or anything like that. In reality, the the couple that, um, that had the child, uh, the boy, they, um, the boy is actually alive in the house, and he's just running through the walls, and he's the one manipulating the doll and doing all that stuff, so reality it was just him running around with a porcelain mask um and a doll was just a doll <laughs> so anyway and then i also watched paranormal activity ghost dimensions last night as well um it i gotta say it didn't have the scare factor as the first ones did it just did not the scare factor that the first ones had were, was way better you know, especially the, the part one and two, you know, especially because they just had that old school stuff moving around, which is the realest stuff. As I was, uh, you know, as you guys heard in my stories uh, video, going and hunting down ghosts and tracking them and stuff like that, it's a little bit more realistic. This one was like a black uh, glob appearing and spreading out and then uh, just, it really, I mean, it was okay. It was entertaining, yeah, but I found myself kind of bored with it. But anyway, um, let's uh, we'll talk about some other movies tomorrow. Um, talk about one of my favorite other uh, type of movies is like The Omen with Gregory Peck and The Exorcist. Um, 
The Exorcist is a phenomenal movie. It still holds the test of time. And a lot of people may not even know this, but the special effects that was used on The Exorcist, the, the guy that created the special effects, Dick Smith, on The Exorcist is the same guy that created the special effects for Taxi Driver with Robert De Niro and Martin Scorsese, 1976, I believe. So really neat, you know, the guy really, Dick Smith, is one of the long lost heroes of the, the, the day and age. And um, I was trying to get the book to, to show it to you, but it's kind of buried. Maybe I'll show it to you tomorrow. Tom Savini is a special effects artist I really admired, and he was inspired by Dick Smith. Tom Savini is very um, infamous for creating the, the effects for Dawn of the Dead, uh, Day of the Dead, and other movies, Friday the 13th, I believe. So anyway, so... Anyway, so that's it. You saw the stuff. We went through town. I uh, had a good day today, um, and it was a lot of fun. And it was, you know, to get get out there and do some stuff. And today, yes, is Monday. We're coming to a close. It is about six o'clock. Lights still out. I guess you can. That's a good indication that summer is getting on. But yep, five fifty-four, June thirteenth. And I picked up, only because my friend said it was good, I'm going to try it. Um, salted caramel topping. I know I've just been buying a bunch of junk food, which I probably shouldn't be doing, but uh, what the heck. Um, I wanted to try some of this stuff, so anyway, we'll try that. Maybe tomorrow we'll make the pizza. How about that? Maybe tomorrow that's what we'll do. So keep tuned in. That's the day in the life for today. Uh, maybe I'll upload something as the nightfall comes. But for now, there you have it. That's what my day was. That's what I've done. <laughs> uh, if you guys are enjoying these videos, uh, I guess, you know, hopefully you're enjoying it. Maybe. <laughs> but either way, thanks for watching. Thanks for saying subscribe to this channel, the Combat 86 Radio Show. I'm Batjack JW. If you haven't already, check out my main channel. And appreciate you guys watching. And we just did uh, a nice video on John Wayne Grips. Those grips came out. Um, to my buddy over there in Arizona, you already have the grips on your gun, and I hope you've been enjoying them. Um, I did some videos with them before I sent you sent them off to you, so they're popping up on the channel now. Uh, just a nice little, I think it's only like 40 seconds or something like that. Just an HD look at the grips. Uh, really awesome stuff. I enjoyed making them for you, and um, you know. Hopefully we can uh, do some more things with that and go from there. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to shut this camera off because I'm not sure how long this video is. If you guys like these videos, you want them longer, let me know. I can film more stuff, uh, you know, but uh, just keep, keep rolling with it. Day in the life.